tell this story because to to me, it just scared the shit out of me. That, really? That they could say, "Can you? How fast can you learn a monologue?" Um. Well, really, that story is. I tell this this story all the time because it's to me it's a testament to to Jerry and Larry David about not giving up on something until it's right. So we the ending of that episode. Um, for those people who may not remember it, my storyline was Jerry had met an old a girl that I had always wanted to date in high school, and in order to impress her on my behalf, told her that I was a marine biologist. And then when he tells me that, I go, I can't, that's not one of the things I can fake. I don't know how to fake that. So I was trying to pawn myself off as a marine biologist. And my storyline in that episode ended when I was walking with her on the beach and there's suddenly a beached whale and somebody yells out, is there a marine biologist? And you see me, you know, like uh, I'm a dead man walking off into the ocean to see if I can do anything as well. That was the end of my story. And then the taping in front of the live audience there was a scene that I wasn't in with Jerry and Kramer and maybe Lynn, but I think it was just Jerry and Kramer, which was supposed to be the end of Kramer's storyline. And it was fine. It was funny, but it, 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 I guess the guys just weren't satisfied with the live audience response. They just thought it wasn't good enough to be the out for the show. So as they always did, the writers circled the wagons and the band started to play and these, and then Larry came over and he went, they, Clearly, they had gotten a, a, an inspiration in the circle. Larry said, how long would it take you to learn a monologue? I said, how long a, how long a monologue? He said, I don't know, a page and a half. I said, a couple minutes, you know. What? And he had written this monologue. You know, the sea was angry that day, my friends. And, and Kramer had a storyline where he had been hitting golf balls into the ocean to practice his drive. But they had never thought of why would there be a beached whale? Oh, there's a golf ball in the blowhole. So when they had that inspiration... They wrote this monologue for George to reveal that he went out and pulled the golf ball out of the blow. There's no time or place to rehearse it. So they put some screens up between us and the audience. We got on into the set and the camera guys were given their shots. We did one run through of it just for ourselves, just to make sure we had the lines. And they pulled the screens away and said to the audience, they're going to try something. We'll see if it works. And what you see when you watch that episode is the first and only time we shot that new rewrite. And that became one of the most, it's one of the big highlight laughs of the entire series. That was a laugh when I eventually pulled the golf ball out of my pocket to show it to, to Kramer. Is that a Titleist? Is that a Titleist? <laughs> it, there, there was a solid minute or more of laughter, which that's a lot of laughing where you can't go on. You can't do the next line because the audience is laughing that hard. That was huge. That was I mean, huge. but to me, if a director came up and said, how fast can you learn a monologue? I'd probably say a week, maybe a week. Really? If you, very, do, do you very, you a monologue. Yeah. I mean, what if you said you couldn't, like your mind doesn't work like that? Do you think any cast member could have done that? Uh, I know Julia could have done it. Um I don't know. Probably Jerry could have done it. I don't know about Mike, but because uh, Mike's, Mike was always more of a physical guy than the words. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, it's just one of those things I never struggled with. I I, I, I did a one-man play in Los Angeles years ago where I played Harry Truman. I mean, it's a play. It's a two-act play. You know, I learned it in two weeks. It was, two it, weeks? It was, you probably learned 50 monologues. It was, it was 80 pages of a monologue. Yeah. 